after studying this module, you shall be able to know about optical or spectroscopic methods for determination of stability constants of the complexes, learn how to apply Jerem's method to determine the stability constant. Introduction to Spectrophotometric Methods Spectrophotometric methods along with potentiometry are the two most widely used tools to study the formation of metal complexes and their stability constants. These methods are based on the measurement of absorption of light by any of the species in the complexation equilibria. The measurement is done at an appropriate wavelength and in a concentration range where Lambert Beer law is obeyed. The formation of the complex results in change in vibrational rotational signatures of the ligands which leads to the shift of peaks in the infrared spectrum. The Lambert Beer law defines the relationship between the absorption and the composition of a given solution by the following equation log i naught by i is equal to a. Here a is the absorption of the metal complex. The formation of the complex ions in aqueous solution follows always stepwise and the stability of the various species m l n existing in solution is characterized by a series of consecutive stability constants k1, k2 till kn. Now we have already discussed regarding the stability constant in the previous modules. In this module we will discuss the spectrophotometric methods for determining the stability constant like Jerem's approximation method spectrophotometric method. First, let us talk about Jerem's method. The formation of mononuclear binary complexes can be determined by studying the concentration of the free ligand. The corresponding solutions are one in which the total metal ion and the ligand concentration are different, whereas the free ligand concentration and mole fractions of the metal complexes are same. The corresponding solutions display same molar absorptivity at all wavelengths and the spectrum of these solutions is recorded and the composition is determined by the graphical method. Therefore, successive complex formation can be studied where the ligands are protonated and the complex with maximum number of ligands has selective light absorption. It is also important to know the composition of the complex species. Jerem in 1941 developed the general method for the determination of stability constants of metal amine complexes. He recognized that the formation of a metal complex with a ligand is a kind of acid base equilibrium. There is a competition for the ligand L between the metal ion Mn plus and the hydrogen ion H plus. This method is used when the ligand has a tendency to protonate and the protonation constant is known. In this case, the hydrogen ion concentration plays an important role in the complex formation. Since the ligand is usually strong Bronsted acid which is easily protonated, the free ligand concentration depends upon the pH. In the absence of the complexing metal ions, the concentration of the free ligand L can be expressed as the ligand L concentration is equal to Cl by alpha L of H, where Cl is the total concentration of the ligand and 
alpha L H is the side reaction coefficient for L reacting with H plus ion. Now, taking log on both sides we get log L is equal to log C L minus log alpha L H in the presence of metal ions which forms mononuclear complex the total ligand concentration is given as follows C L is equal to L concentration plus beta 1 M concentration into L concentration plus 2 beta 2 M concentration into L concentration raised to the power 2 plus so on plus K 1 H concentration L concentration plus K 1 K 2 dash H concentration square L concentration square plus so on. Here beta 1 and beta 2 are the stability constants of the ML ML 2 complexes respectively and K 1 K 2 are the successive protonation constants of the ligand. Hence, C L is equal to metal M concentration summation of I from 1 to N I beta 1 L concentration raised to the power I plus ligand concentration alpha L for H. Now, the first term on the right hand side in the equation gives the amount of the ligand bound in the complex with metal ion. Dividing this by the total metal ion concentration gives n bar, the average number of the ligands bound by one metal ion. So, this can be represented here as n bar is equal to C L minus L concentration alpha L of H by C M. For determining the stability constants, it is necessary to know the concentration of the complex formed. And for this, a series of solutions are prepared in which both C M and C L are constant. And further, C L is greater than C M, but the pH is varied. The absorbance of the solutions are measured and plotted against the logarithm of the free ligand concentration. The free ligand concentration is calculated from the H and the protonation constants by using this equation. The ligand L concentration is equal to C L by alpha L for H. Now, if the overall stability constant of the light absorbing complex is high, the absorbance will reach a limiting value. At this stage, the concentration of the complex with maximum ligand number is practically equal to C m. The mole fraction of the metal ion in the complex m l n at any point of the curve can be calculated by dividing the actual absorbance by the maximum absorbance that is psi m is equal to m l n divided by c m which is equal to a by a max. From the related ligand concentration and phi m values the stability constants can be calculated by using the following equation phi m is equal to m l n concentration divided by C m which is equal to beta i ligand L concentration raised to the power i divided by 1 plus summation of beta i ligand L concentration raised to the power i. Now, for m L complex here n is equal to 1 the equation can be written as phi m divided by 1 minus phi m is equal to beta 1 ligand L concentration raised to the power 1. Now, taking log on both sides we get log phi m divided by 1 minus phi m is equal to log beta 1 plus log L. Plotting the left hand side of the above equation against log L gives a straight line with an intercept equal to log beta 1. Now, let us study what is Jerome's approximation. If it is assumed that in a solution where n bar is equal to j minus half, there are equal amounts of m a and m a 
j minus 1, then kj is equal to concentration of maj divided by concentration of maj minus 1 multiplied by the concentration of a. Now, since here maj is equal to maj minus 1, further kj is equal to 1 by a. Now, if the ratio of the successive constants is less than 10 to the power 4, that is kj minus 1 by kj is less than 10 to the power 4, the above approximation is not valid. Now, let us study what is the validity of stability constants. Now, there are many sources of error in the various methods of calculation for determination of the stability constants. But the best way of checking up the values of the constants obtained is to calculate the value of various functions like n bar, alpha and phi. If the theoretical curve and the experimental curve agree, the stability constant obtained are correct, otherwise they must be recalculated. The values of the stability constants also give a due whether a particular complex species is present in solution or not. Further, if kj is greater than 0, then the species ma2 must exist. Let us study what are the conditions for the application of this method. When these studies are conducted by changing the pH, the ligand concentration can be changed over a wide range without changing the ionic strength. The results obtained by using this method are not correct above pH 7 because of the formation of methyl hydroxo complexes. The maximum ligand concentration should not be greater than 2. Only the complex species with maximum coordination number should have appreciable absorption at the chosen wavelength. The value of beta should be appreciably high so that a maximum can be reached but it should not be high enough so that the complex formation takes place in highly acidic medium that is when pH is less than 3. The metal ion should not undergo any side reaction in the pH range studied. Summary. The spectroscopic methods for determination of stability constants deal with the absorption of light by the complex species. The plot of the absorbance versus mole fraction of the ligand is drawn to determine the value of n as well as beta. A series of solutions are prepared in which both Cm and Cl are constant and the concentration Cl is greater than Cm and the pH is varied. The mole fraction of the metal ion in the complex MLN at any point of the curve can be calculated by just dividing the actual absorbance by the maximum absorbance that is phi m is equal to MLN concentration by Cm that is A by A maximum. For n is equal to 1 complex ML, the stability constant can be calculated by using the following equation. Log psi m divided by 1 minus psi m is equal to log beta 1 plus log ligand L concentration. 